Good morning guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to the channel. Right now we are sitting with our BMW i3 that's been heavily neglected. Um, not really heavily neglected, it's been the daily. The daily's job is to be reliable in a daily. But I guess the, the saying is true, you always need a daily for your daily. So you might need to look out for another car here in the near future. Uh, but anyways, uh, if you guys check this out back here, this is the tire that blew out on my wife when she was literally going like 10 miles an hour. And uh, if you guys check out the tread, I think this tire has at least another 50 to 60% of life in here, which is super annoying. Um, there isn't any strings coming out of it. Uh, I literally have a blowout here. Once we took off the wheel, I'll show you guys. We have a blowout on this wheel in the center. Literally just cracked from the center inside out. It was a blowout because of either a defective tire. Um, and I did a lot more research. And it turns out these i3 tires only really last three years from the manufacturing date. And on top of that, these tires were discontinued when the car was discontinued, which was in 2020. And on top of that, there's only one tire brand that makes it, and it's very expensive. So long story short, I don't think driving i3s in the next couple of years is going to be ideal just because, uh, again, no company makes these tires, and uh, they're very expensive. I spent $1,000 on a set of tires for this car, and uh, they have a build date on them for 2020. Same build date as these tires which means I probably won't get much life out of them, but if I can at least maybe get another year or two years out of them, I'll be pretty happy with that. So we're gonna go and slap those on here, try to get another year or two years out of them. It's not more of the tire tread, it's more of the tire quality itself. So they're bridge zones, but I guess it's just these skinny tires. They're just no good, honestly. Dang, these are EP600s too. These are the more expensive ones, but these ones actually have some outer wear. Uh, so actually that's why we're replacing the fronts as well. We only have one blowout, but for peace of mind, we're just gonna replace all four. So without further ado, let's go in and get this car up, get some new tires on here. Uh, and actually, we're heading down to my boy's new, Asman's new place. They opened up in Sacramento. Uh, they do a bunch of, obviously, tire installs and a bunch of other good work as well. So we're actually gonna be taking all of our wheels and tires from here over there. He's gonna demount and remount them and uh, just get a lot of stuff done over here as well on the i3. And then, yeah, we have so much stuff going on, but I'm just gonna take you guys on the journey. Just welcome back to another day here at Natty Auto Parts. Isn't that crazy? It's in the center too, like it's not even from the sidewalls. All right guys, so we have our brand new tires. They literally look like bicycle tires, but uh, $1,000 bicycle tires. <laughs> Those are some expensive bad boys. But anyways, let's go ahead and get the i3 wheels in here. And then we gotta load up this whole truck bed with some wheels and tires as well, because we have a lot of wheels and tires that we need to separate and sell separately. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get all that stuff knocked out. Hi, Leo. What's going on? What are you doing? Uh, I got a Costco membership. <laughs> we're, we're dismantling the F30. Um, so right now we're gonna work on getting the dash out. We're gonna work on moving the steering wheel uh, and the entire center console. Once this, once this is all said and done, we're gonna clean some parts and hopefully work on the uh, engine transmission. What's, what's in it for you? So maybe, right, cross your fingers. If I'm all said and done with all this, he might get me some food. <laughs> cool. Yep. All right, guys, just made it here to Apex Auto Center. My boy leveled up. He had a smaller shop and just leveled up to this big one. That is super sick. Uh, but yeah, I'm dropping off some i3 tires, i3 wheels. We're about to actually get these done right now, take it back so you can mount it on the i3. Um, these G80 wheels and I believe the 335 IS wheels, um, we're gonna be taking it, we're honestly gonna be dropping it off. He's gonna demount these another time because they're honestly very busy right now. And then uh, we'll pick these up later, but it's just super sick uh, to see this right now. And uh, that's the man, the myth, the legend, so. Respect, respect. It's always sick to see someone level up like this. Like the place he was at before was a super nice place. Obviously, everyone starts from somewhere, um, but to see someone level up to a place like this, it's just it's super sick. So um, it's definitely an inspiration. And again, hopefully uh, for us one day we will level up our business. But again, just super happy to see my uh, my brothers grow. Not to mention, if you guys need tires, wheels, demounts, remounts, anything like that, even alignments, make sure to hit them up. Apex Auto Center. So 
so now that the daily has been officially sorted out i'm super happy about that now we're actually working on the f30 and getting this n20 engine out so we can actually get this f30 junked up and we pretty much got most of the things out of the car uh, but you guys see me doing right here just getting this engine prepped up to be pulled out um actually this is kind of crazy so we actually took off the wheel um that was like crushed the whole suspension was crushed on this side and the caliper thankfully was in perfect condition i mean obviously a few scratches here and there uh, but thankfully in good use condition shout out to my brother for again help me out right there now while i'm actually pulling this motor out of the f30 um i did want to talk a little bit about the m3 in the last video you guys saw so basically the m3 my boy ended up picking up uh, i'm trying to get all the parts together so i can pretty much make a jam-packed video for you guys so no current updates on this car currently just other than getting parts and then hopefully once we get all the parts in we'll be rebuilding his e92 m3 i know he's super stoked he's literally waiting for the car to be fully built so he can fly back and drive it so yeah update on that pretty soon <laughs> this is probably the easiest engine to pull out i've ever done i kid you guys not honestly like getting this engine i obviously have to remove the whole front clip but getting everything disconnected from the chassis and underneath the car was super easy and there's like barely any bolts and all the bolts are pretty much the same thing like i could probably swap one of these engines like if it was a complete engine back into this car in less than a day like honestly probably even less than a couple hours it's pretty it's, it's, it's pretty insane to be honest all right let's go ahead and give this thing a shot Now, if you guys are swapping this engine, I highly recommend you guys don't use one of these in the entire process. But because this shell is going to say goodbye, so uh, this is the easier way to do it. Like I said, guys, the easiest engine I've ever pulled in my life. Like, if you guys are kind of scared about doing an N20 swap, but if you buy a car with a blown engine and you're trying to make a quick buck over the weekend and find yourselves an N20, you know, we have one here now at Natty Auto Parts. Uh, it is honestly probably the easiest engine, not swap, but replacement you guys can do. Like, honest to God, look how clean this engine bay is. There's literally nothing connected on this side of the engine, which makes it super easy to uninstall. It's literally just the ground. And on this side, everything I disconnected super easily. Other than this fuel line, I decided to just cut it because who cares? Um, but like I said, guys, kind of insane this thing's already out. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just strip everything down, uh, get the engine on a you know a beautiful little dolly, and uh, let's get some pictures. So after a little bit of time, guys, finally got the N20 engine out. It is a complete engine with absolutely literally everything, including the turbo, um, all the accessories. It's gonna be literally direct plug and play. Um, it was super easy to move, super easy to swap. So for those of you guys who have an N20 that need a new engine, Bada bing, bada bang. So now that we got that bad boy out, now we have the transmission as well. We just need to go ahead, uh, cap off, clean up. Um, and honestly, I need to get that with the other transmissions over there. Um, and then I'm probably going to start working on this stuff right over here as well, just getting that fully disassembled. Um, so at least the front end of this car is ready to go. Um, one interesting thing, though, I noticed is that with the drive shaft on this car, it looks a little weird. I don't know why it has like that cup around it. I'm not sure if it's a factory thing or some aftermarket thing, but it is definitely worth noting and is very interesting. As far as today, I don't know how much more work we're going to go ahead and knock out but i'm gonna try to do as much as i can and uh possibly even get this car ready to go shout out to my beautiful wife guys for getting all these parts cleaned up she's been helping so much i'm just getting these things beautiful for you guys ready to go helping me save so much time um but like i said guys so much more to do before we conclude today and i really want to get this 328 shell out of here asap so i'll come back to you guys when we got a whole lot more progress on this car so now that literally everything is off we are pretty much done with this f30 and before we actually get into the topic of today's video which is what the video is titled um we do have one other thing i want to get installed into the shop which is uh an ac unit we honestly need some ac in there it gets really 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 humid in there and i don't really know why so uh yeah this is much needed we already have a hole cut out in the wall to the office so i'm hoping this little bad boy is just gonna go right in there And just like that guys, this bad boy's in there and I don't know how sturdy this thing is, but as long as no one bumps into it, it'll be fine. So, anyways, now to some serious talk. And guys, we are finally at the end of the video and uh, yeah, it's the title of today's video. I really wanted to mention why starting a business is not really for everyone. And the reason I say this is because I even second guess it myself because 
before I actually get into all that, again, I, I kind of want to just give you guys a little bit of background and just a little bit of a, you know, what's going on here right now. Like, why am I even talking to you guys about this right now? And that's because I feel like I should start connecting you guys. I started YouTube um, mainly to connect with you guys, mainly to chat with you guys, mainly to grow a community um, of people that kind of are in the same boat as me. And uh, it's hard in this society, honestly, to find good people, to find good friends, to find uh, good you know, business partners and all this stuff. It's just really, really, really difficult. And that's the beauty about social media is you tend to meet a lot of people through here. And uh, that's why I kind of want to you know, kind of give you guys some of my advice here, what you guys think. Um, here's some advice from you guys down in the comments. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to do these in the end of some of my videos um, just so you can, we can, you know, sit down, uh, see what's going on in my life. I can hear what's going on with you guys' life again down below. Um, so even if I'm really in tough times, um, you guys can either remind me like, Nor, it's not the end of the world. You know, people always, you know, run into, hit bridges, hit walls, and they get through it in the end of the day. So um, again, it's just kind of keeping each other uplifted, positivity, all that good stuff. I strongly believe that negativity and being lonely um, can honestly just, just get to a, a whole lot of depression and Obviously, we don't want to get there, um, but that's the thing about starting a business is that it gets very lonely. Um, you, you tend to get depressed. You tend to second guess a lot of your decisions because um, the thing is about starting a business, especially being married at the same time, is that it's not just impacting my life right now. Anything that I do will also affect my family's life, and that kind of like really stresses me out in one way or another. Um, so yeah, and what I mean by getting lonely is that when I started a business, starting a business is like starting your dream, starting your passion, you know, starting a new step in your life. Um, it's not necessarily what your friends want to do or your, you know, your family or whatever. It's, it's your choice, your decision and your everything. And uh, when you start a business, you have to give it your undivided attention. I'm talking like literally I spend 60 to 80 hours a week here um, because this is what I'm fully invested to. And it does not mean that anyone else in my life is fully invested into this. I'm just fully invested into this. Um, so you tend to lose a lot of friends. And that's another thing why like starting a business is not really meant for everyone. Um, so yeah, you lose a lot of friends. I'm always stressed out. I'm gets lonely, second guessing myself all the time. And not to mention, I'm always broke because um, that's actually another reason why I second guess everything is because I'm in a really, really, really tight pickle. And uh, obviously, driving an R8 and having an one m 3 and starting a business may not seem broke, um, but that's just because I'm always putting myself in that situation where it's like, okay. We've accomplished this, we've accomplished this, and I put myself in this business where it stresses me out, it puts me in this situation where I can't go to bed unless I get more stuff done, um, otherwise I'm gonna lose this, this, and this. So um, yes, I'm not complaining whatsoever about my life, I'm currently blessed, I, I appreciate you guys, I have you guys, I have you know the amazing things in my life, the amazing people in my life, um, and I'm truly, truly, truly blessed. Uh, but genuinely, end of the day, uh, it's just something worth mentioning, is starting a business honestly takes a huge impact on your mental health and just you know just you as a person. I'm uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really think it's really meant for everyone um, because I when I started YouTube, I, you know I lived with my parents. I got to the point where I was able to move out and I had that gradual movement. Uh, but starting this business, I was I, it honestly took so much of me and so much financially from me uh, that I actually have to move in with my parents and again have to second guess a lot of decisions that have happened in my life and it gets really 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 stressful. I'm not trying to sit here um, and discourage anyone from chasing your dreams and you know not want to be an entrepreneur or not starting your business. It's just end of the day, I'm actually here to kind of show you guys that um, when starting a business, when trying to do something, you know, to change your life, uh, it's going to be very difficult. Like for me, again, like I may have an R8, I may have an E91 M3, I may have a business, uh, but I'm not going to lie. I moved back in with my parents. Um, financially, I'm looking at every penny that I spend, like other than like, if you guys look at my clothes and stuff like that, this is the same clothes I've wore for a year, year and a half. Uh, I'm not gonna paint myself out to be, you know, oh my God, I drive an R8, I'm so cool, yada, yada, yada. If any of you guys ever come up to me, you guys know how humble I am. I try to be as humble as I can because at the end of the day, everything that I have is because of you guys. I do believe it's also because of hard work. I also do believe um, it's, you know, for my blessings from above. Um, but end of the day, being this transparent with you guys as well kind of shows you guys um, my life as a YouTuber, my life as a business owner, and it's not all pretty. Unfortunately, it's not all pretty. Um, and that's why, again, I'm sorry that I'm not uploading as frequently as I would like to upload. Um, hopefully, hopefully, once I get uh, somebody else here with me at the shop, it's a really close friend of mine, and I cannot wait uh, for him to be a part of this. I'll have a lot more time to film. I'll have a whole lot more time uh, to, you know, to actually show you guys everything that's going on. Uh, probably be more uplifted because I have somebody else here at the shop with me um, getting things done. It's not going to be just me at the shop. But yeah, that's pretty much just a little two cents, a little update. 
Uh, please let me know what you guys think down below. Please let me know uh, if you know if you guys are business owners, um, how you guys got through the beginning stages because it's pretty tough. It's pretty tough, not gonna lie. And uh, I, I just would like some advice and. Um, yeah, that's gonna have to conclude today's video. I have a bunch of other videos with the E91 M3 and the R8 planned, and it's gonna be uploaded here pretty soon. Um, just again, business, stressful, you guys get the gist at this point. So for those of you guys who are not subscribed for business information, do not worry, that's not what this channel is gonna be only about. It's obviously about cars. Cars is my absolute life. It's literally my drive to most things I do in life. So do not worry, a lot more car enthusiast things coming on the channel, a lot more car modifications, car upgrades, um, new cars, stuff like that to come. But with that further ado, guys, it's gonna have to conclude this video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.